What's up everyone? We are here back on Fade Cloud Tower Defense. Okay, so before we get into the video, if you do want to come check it out, it's Java and better compatible. The IP is there on the screen, zap.fakecloud.com. And if you already do play the server, consider switching to my IP address as it allows me to do giveaways every video. So the last video's giveaway winner is uh, popped up on the screen. And then if you want to enter this video's giveaway of 1000 clouds, just leave a like in the video and comment your in-game name. And yeah, what clouds are used for are the shops. So slash clouds and then you can buy things like ranks you can buy gems and also these are boosters but also the wheel spins you can get wheel spins from slash voting as well so that's kind of a cool thing i'm gonna actually do this real quick and now i have some of these wheel spins and we can open them up and spin them for some rewards so while i'm opening these i have a quick sponsor to show you trust dice.win is the number one rated online casino with daily login bonuses and if you go over to their faucet you can claim free crypto of your choice every six hours of course 18 plus as always more info in the description and let's get back to the video so yeah thank you so much for them sponsoring and now for the final wheel spin i got myself 64 rare shards okay so what shards are used for if we open up our storage unit i have 64 or sorry i have 160 rare unit shards every 64 of these i can combine them into a rare summon and that was a magni unit cool so we're gonna do one more of these as i do have enough we only have 32 left over and then I got another chunk unit I actually do have a couple of these chunk units already and what I want to show you with these is how we can combine them together with this unit fusion feature we can go ahead and combine multiple of the same ones together to then increase the star rarity as you can see this is now a two star although there's not really any visible differences in the stats when we do level it up in game it actually becomes more powerful I can also equip the fourth unit and there's this one unit called the plex which is is already level six and what that means is with this unit leveling over on the right which you can't really see too good i have nine thousand coins you use these coins to level up your units and it'll basically increase the base stats so right now we have 34.03 damage if i upgrade this one time it now has 34.83 damage the reason i'm really focusing on this plex unit is because the range the speed and the damage is absolutely insane so i'm going to put all of my coins into that it now has almost 40 base base damage and then we'll go ahead and equip it all right so before we hop into the first map i'm going to type slash clouds and because i do have 20,000, we're gonna buy ourselves a personal exp and a personal gems booster now we get 2x gems 2x exp it'll help us uh kind of speed run the progression on here and i do have a couple of the maps played already but we're going to start with the jungle world by the way there's so much more to this game mode like endless mode a tower mode and then there's also a whole leaderboard system but yeah let's start with the jungle world at the normal oh dude wait what should i do the normal hard or insane difficulty i think we're strong enough to do the insane difficulty all right the jungle world has started what i'm going to do is throw down this uh, plex unit right there this has a 20 by 20 range meaning it should be able to kill these from very far away which it clearly is and then the other unit i really want to put down is called the chunk unit this is absolutely insane you'll see when i throw it down and i'm really excited to do that also the one thing with plex is that he's actually kind of slow in the beginning he only has one health so i can't really risk losing this there's no way i already lose okay so we won't talk about that i already somehow lost so maybe we should start with a different approach i'm going to throw down the chunk unit to start this will make a poison on the ground and oh my god i'm on the wrong side all right we won't talk about that i uh, totally wasn't on the wrong side of the map okay let's throw down the chunk units and he should start throwing down a poison why is he not okay there we go yeah so as you can see he is killing these chickens that is pretty decent although i don't know if i will survive another around hopefully i can i need three thousand money to buy the plex unit so i'm thinking if i place one like right here when i have enough money it should be any second all right there we go we should be a lot better about this situation now what i'm going to do is actually use this speed up game feature and i'm going to speed up the waves a little bit and make it two times faster and look at that we are now killing a lot of rabbits yeah the chunk is actually very overpowered now if i go ahead and upgrade this plex unit i can increase the range plus five 
five, and then the damage plus five. And then if I do it a second time, I can, well, uh, get plus 40 more damage. And no way they're getting past. All right, I'm gonna try placing an orc here, and it should kill that rabbit, and it just saved us. Oh my god. All right, so I think this whole approach is kind of bad. What I really need to start with is getting an orc as it's very cheap. The plex is good, but I feel like it's a little too slow. Okay, and the silverfish are just getting by. This is not very ideal. Can we be saved? Okay, yep, it, it's definitely over. Okay, we somehow did not lose that. Okay, I just need to chill for a second. Let me upgrade this orc. We can do it another time right there. This will increase the damage and the range a little bit. My chunk is actually very good, and I'm thinking of increasing this because it will deal plus five damage. My biggest issue was putting this plex in a really bad spot, and also we shouldn't have even started with it. When this next wave starts, though, I can upgrade this chunk unit, and it'll deal an extra five damage, which definitely will help a lot. I feel like I'm just very broke right now. I'm going to throw down another orc right here and then upgrade it two times. Oh, nice. We got a new battle pass here. Actually, if you didn't know, there's something kind of cool about the battle pass in that it kind of resets every two weeks, making it like an infinite battle pass. So if you buy it, you can just infinitely get rewards for the entire like game mode. That's pretty cool. What I've concluded though is I'm going to throw down an absolute crap load of the orc units as they're very cheap and very good. And then we just keep upgrading them a couple times. Yeah, I definitely need to figure out like the best strategies to not losing the game but we got that orc all upgraded and then i'm just going to keep placing more and more down the line like i really want to get into this uh jab unit as it deals really high damage but i feel like i'm just not at a spot where i should even risk using that because i just don't want to lose this upgrade that guy a couple times okay so these are the iron golem bosses they're not too hard as long as i keep lining up more and more orcs i should be able to kill them just fine yeah dude honestly what i should have done is had the plex like all the way over here in the middle and then when it's upgraded it could kill everything from everywhere lop down another orc quickly and upgrade it i'm not even joking dude i think this might be the meta oh my god oh my god please don't lose gotta upgrade this guy come on please no no there's no way i lose this no oh my god oh my god how did i not lose that that was so close dude all right i just gotta keep placing and upgrading orcs oh my god that was so ridiculous upgrade even more times i'm currently on wave 18 out of 20. i'm gonna throw down a plex over here and then try to upgrade it so it can get like really high range but right after this wave we go into the boss oh no there's more iron golems that are spawning all right i slow down the speed we are now fighting this boss what my strategy will be here is oh my god let me upgrade this plex one more time and then what i'm gonna do is sell the units that kind of the boss passes and then throw another orc down and upgrade it so we'll sell this guy we'll sell this guy i'll put this orc here upgrade it i'll put this orc here i wish there was a way i could make this move even slower i literally think i'm gonna lose i'm trying as quick as possible to place these orcs and upgrade them and oh my god this is gonna be so close no there's no shot dude there's no shot it's over i lost no way i can't believe we lost that that is very unfortunate but you know what that was the super hard difficulty so i guess i wouldn't be surprised i do have 2000 gems though so let's open up some more of these units magni units okay i don't really know what is good or not is that green good oh my god wait hold up that is actually a legendary unit okay so the ice wizard will freeze enemies on the track with small powerful snowballs it has 15 damage 20 by 20 range wow okay i actually kind of like that i'm going to remove the jab unit and then equip this ice wizard actually you know what we'll also use a little bit of coins that we have and uh upgrade it a little bit now it deals 17 damage but wow okay let's get into another map this time around i'm just going to do the desert world but i'll do the normal difficulty and on first time completion we get a lot of exp coins and then 200 gems because i think it's because i have that booster equipped but yeah let's go to the normal difficulty okay so the first thing i want to throw down is probably just an orc so we'll throw this guy like uh actually i'm gonna just plop down an ice wizard right here at the corner and then what i'll do is also throw down a chunk right here in a little bit and then i guess i can throw down an orc like right there yeah i'm definitely going to want a chunk unit uh, okay that silver fish just got by you know what that's fine all right is it the end of the world if they go by not really because we do have a lot of health but it's not very ideal that we're letting these beginning creatures all the way through after this round though 
we should be good. Okay, we have enough money. Let me throw down a chunk. Oh my god, it's 4,000 money. Come on, hurry. All right, there we go. This should very greatly help out. My thought with putting this guy here, though, is like when the mobs come back around, they should hit the poison again. I really do want to buy a plex unit as well. So we'll just get one of each of our units. And then from now on, I'll start upgrading. I don't really know how smart this idea is, but the first thing we should do is upgrade the orc a couple times. That should be like the goal. Okay, we have these camo spiders. What I'm going to do is make the orc target camo only first. This way they don't just get by. And then we have a lot of money. Let me upgrade the ice wizard a couple times. My internet is currently lagging. I really hope we don't lose. What in the heck just happened? Okay, wait, my internet's back. Oh, wow, look at this. The ice wizard unit. If I do this next upgrade, it goes plus 70 damage but and plus 10 range but also gets a plus 25% freeze chance. That is so cool. I keep forgetting that in the later upgrades, they start getting these really good abilities. And okay, let's upgrade it. All right, I think what I should do next is start upgrading the chunk and making it a little bit better. So I'll go plus five on that. The plex I could upgrade as well, but we get a lot of money in between waves. So either way, we will be able to upgrade all of them. I'll upgrade the plex one time. I can do it again for plus 40 damage and plus five range. So when we have enough, I'll upgrade it again. Oh, look at that. The iron golems were literally frozen. That is actually very cool. Okay, can we upgrade the chunk? Yes, we can. Plus 22 damage. Yeah, there are a lot of iron golems here. And if I do recall correctly, there is, I think, two waves of bosses. So we really need to get some powerful stuff set up. I'm going to upgrade the plex for plus 125 damage. Wow, and the next upgrade is plus 300 damage and plus 10 range. All right, let's upgrade the orc again. It lowers the speed a little bit. Wait, actually, just lowering the speed? Speed? Is that a good thing? Wait, yeah, okay, lowering the speed is a good thing because the lower speed means it shoots faster, right? Because the two seconds is two seconds between each shot. I'm pretty sure that's what that means, but let's max out an orc upgrade. Five out of five, 60 damage, 0.4 seconds, 16 by 16 range. Yeah, that is like the best unit I've ever had so far. I've never maxed out an upgrade. This one would be really good as well, but it does increase the speed, making it a lot slower. But it is a 100% freeze chance. You know what? I think we should get chunk here plus 37 damage and then it also makes it faster. Yep. Let's upgrade that. Oh yeah. Look at this. One of the bosses have spawned. Oh yeah. That should really be not a problem at all. Killing that guy was pretty easy. Pretty much though. The next thing we could do is save up to like 40, 50,000 money to upgrade more of these units to level five or I could buy more tier four units. It kind of all depends. I think getting the ice wizard to 100% freeze would be very, very good, but I'm just scared about the bosses. I don't know if we'll be able to like kill them fast enough. Oh wait, look at that. We have another ravager spawned. Wait, actually, yeah, we should be good. Part of me now doesn't want to get the ice wizard upgrade only because you can't freeze the bosses. So we're going to upgrade chunk for plus 47 damage and then minus one speed. So he could throw down like two of the poison things at a time now. That is very crazy. Yeah, the next upgrade I'll end up getting is for plex because that's plus 300 damage. If I even need to get that though, we are just here down to the two bosses. Oh wait, the ravager can be frozen. Yep, uh, we won this. Wow, dude, that is awesome. That was a lot easier than expected but yeah look at that we defeated the desert world we gained the 2500 coins this legendary here gave us the best possible start we could have had the ice wizard is a very good unit now there's one more thing i wanted to show you and this is the unit deletion if you do have all these extra units like all these common ones i'm probably never going to use and you can't upgrade them together so if I bulk delete all of the common units like that, <clears throat> that gave me 1600 crystals. You get 100 crystals per common unit deleted. With these crystals, you can open up the crystal shop and then you can buy like shards, unit scrolls, and also a 1.5x game speed perk. If you don't have a rank, you can't use the increased game speed. So you do have a way to earn it in game. But yeah, um, I don't really know what the unit scrolls do. This is all pretty cool though. I'm definitely going to level up the ice wizard a few more times because I mean, come on this is like the best unit i have that there though is going to wrap up the first episode of tower defense the first actual episode of playing the game i'm gonna have a lot more videos on here soon so make sure you do stay tuned thank you all for watching and i'll uh, see you all in the next one